Hello and welcome to another episode of Riding with the Duke. It's Friday, baby. Friday, Friday, Friday. Yeah, man. Friday got the uh, weekend off. Got some exciting plans with family. Relax a little bit, get some things done. Got some things to do on the to-do list. But very excited to have the weekend off. And uh, it's Friday night, man. We're doing a chat later on. We'll do a live chat. Hopefully get some good back and forth and have a good time tonight. So we'll do that, do a gun chat. Maybe we'll talk some, pick something specific to talk about. Maybe we'll get a couple of the other homies in on it and have some fun. But really, really looking forward to the weekend and uh, always enjoyed Friday nights. You know, you, I don't know about you, but, it, you know, when I was younger, it would always include trying to get one of my cousins to spend the night or have a friend come over. We usually involved, you know, going to the, the, the video rental store and maybe getting some pizza or something. Like, there would be something. You know, Dad got paid, so it was like a, bit, like a little bit of a fun thing. Uh, we didn't eat out a whole bunch as a kid at all. But we usually got the pizza thing on like Friday Friday night. So that'll be a good, you know, that was always a fun time. Having a friend or a cousin stay over the night so we could, you know, maybe get a video game, a new release, and then like a, an older one, you know, things were good. So, and Matt posed this question the other day in that like chat thing where that, that test we were doing, where he asked, were, would you have rather been running to see the new release was there or would you have been found scouring for new hidden treasures throughout the movie video rental store and I was like 50-50 but usually I kind of had an option to like maybe sometimes get two movies and you know I could get like a new release and then I could get uh, an old one and it was kind of cool because and usually with my dad we would kind of be on the same wavelength of a movie we wanted to see together. So that was always exciting. And, uh, you know, there would be the the one that him and I wanted to see that the one I could watch like later on or honestly the next day or the morning um, that I was kind of into and get a video game in between that. But it was always a good time. I was just telling somebody about a story about how my mom and sister uh, would go on these like little trips or excursions. I remember growing up, they would go to, uh, you know, like my, my, my aunt's house for a long weekend, uh, you know, down in Ohio, uh, or they would go on some women's thing with the church and it would leave my dad and I alone for the weekend. And I loved those times, those times just hanging out get out of school and uh, wait for my dad to get home. He would get home. We'd get to go out somewhere cool. Uh, he loved to get fish and chips. It still does. That's why he's still alive. So he, my dad would love to go get fish and chips. And we'd get fish and chips. We, I remember going to Long John Silver's a lot uh, with him because that was his thing. I didn't mind it. I liked it at the time. And we would go to Long John Silver's or some other fish and chip place. And then we'd get to go to the, uh, the the grocery store to get a few things, and I would get be able to get a few things for the weekend. Um, and then he would, you know, get a few things, and then we would go to the movie store, and then boom, we're uh, watching movies, having a good time, turning it up loud because you didn't have to worry about my little sister uh, or like you know bad words because we're watching a rated R movie. And man, it was such a good time. And it reminds, I think it would be around this time of year anyways that my mom would usually, you know, dip out with my sister and kind of go away. And it wasn't like for some super long time, but I always enjoyed that time. I mean, I was obviously just hanging out with my dad. My dad's a super good guy and a uh, ton of respect for him. He worked as a lineman for years and now is retired and well-deserved retirement. But, uh... My dad worked super hard for our family to live a good life. I always appreciated that. 
and I always, always appreciated it, even as a kid. I didn't give my parents too much grief, I think a little bit at the end. Uh, well, we got along well, my dad and I, and even my, my mom and I. But my dad and I had a good relationship, and that always makes me happy to think back at stuff like that, and the times of watching cool movies. And My dad and I always have shared the sci-fi, the love of sci-fi, and I think it came from my dad. My dad's not into sports at all, and which obviously transfers to me not really caring about sports. And I, I have no qualms in, in theory, uh, that people enjoy things and it's your thing I'm happy for you um, but it's never been my thing I've tried many times to enjoy uh, sports at times you know watch them on TV or something my wife watches more sports than I do and she's into it but I just can't really stomach it too much I the Super Bowl ending stuff is kind of exciting but I watch that more to have conversations with people um, and relate to the other humans than I would uh, really caring about the game. But if people enjoy it and it gets me conversations or like my wife and I watched the Super Bowl together this year a little bit and uh, before I did a chat, she was explaining to me how things worked and that was cool and I, I appreciated it. Mostly just enjoyed being with her. But uh, that stuff was always lost on me. But like I said, my dad and I, we really enjoyed the sci-fi stuff. So throughout the night, early 90s and 2000s we would always go see Star Treks all the Star Trek movies and I specifically remember going to see Star Trek Generations with my dad and having a absolute blast because it was this like mesh of old school Star Trek new school Star Trek and it being like a big flow and I, I some of my first memories of my dad are sitting on his lap in the late 80s early 90s uh sitting on his lap on his like in his lazy boy chair and uh with him and watching star trek i mean i remember being very little and, and watching that and that was always a, a really good time he's my dad's a good guy uh we always watch star treks or anything sci-fi we would go see at the movies i remember going to see independence day with him and those were always you know very very I have fond memories of watching that kind of stuff. But it always reminds me of him when it comes to sci-fi or good Star Trek stuff, you know. But what were your Friday nights like growing up? Um, like I said, I always enjoyed it because we you know, would get a cousin over and stay up late. Play, play, I remember playing a Nintendo 64 and playing you know, 007, GoldenEye. Stuff like that game is pretty cool. Um, in my opinion, it's the real first-person shooter. But I know Doom came out before that. I understand that, but console-wise, that's the genesis of all of it. And uh, fun times overall. But yeah, we'll do a, a show tonight. We'll have some fun. We'll do a live show tonight, and uh, probably eight o'clock. Eastern Standard Time, get some guys to join us and uh, maybe do some more trivia or do a gun chat and we'll go from there. But I look forward to seeing you tonight and I uh, hope you have a good rest of the day. If you're you know, a couple hours behind me, you just got a few more hours. But if not, we'll see you tonight uh, later on. Have a great night. We'll see you.